How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i've got one of the most anticipated budget android phones the all new nothing phone 3a and this device is currently running the latest nothing os 3.1 based on android 15 so you are in for many exciting features and there is this all new essential button present on this phone which i'll talk about later in this video with that said, today let's check out the first things to do, some useful tips and tricks and some hidden features that will surely help you get the most out of your brand new nothing smartphone. Guys all these features and tips and tricks will also work for the phone 3a pro so make sure you watch this video until the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1500 likes on this one. With that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys, first let's talk about the lock screen customization. All you need to do is simply long press on your lock screen and you get this option that says customize lock screen. Simply tap on it and unlock your phone. Now once you go into the customization page, here you can swipe over the clock to get different styles and there are 5 unique clock faces you can choose to customize your lock screen. Not only this, you also get the option to add some useful widgets. So you can just swipe down to scroll through different widgets and pick the ones that you think will be useful to you. Now let's say you don't have enough space to add some more widgets which you like to have here for quicker access. In such situations, you can simply enable this toggle called expand widget area. This will expand the widget area so you can add even more widgets by minimizing the clock on your lock screen. There are plenty of interesting widgets which you can add but one of the most useful ones is the quick settings that lets you add several shortcuts directly to your lock screen without having to open the quick settings panel every time. There is one more really cool widget that I think you might want to play around with and it's called the countdown widget. It allows users to set reminders for specific dates or events and you can also change the shape as well. Once done, the widget displays the time reminding for that special day that you don't want to forget about. It's like a progress bar which can be super handy when you have it on your lock screen. Inside the phone settings, if you go to lock screen, scroll all the way down to the bottom, here you will find something called as always show basic info on lock screen. And this is how you enable the always on display on nothing phones. So when you activate this feature, all of those widgets you set up on your lock screen will now be visible on the always on display too. Unlike other Android phones, nothing allows you to access all your widgets directly from the always on display and I just love this transition from the AOD to your lock screen. I think it looks beautiful. Since we are in the lock screen, there is one more important setting that you need to turn on right away. If you go inside security and privacy, scroll down and select more security settings, here you will see this option called power off to verify. Just make sure you enable this feature on your phone. So when someone tries to power off your phone, it will ask to enter the pin first. This prevents unauthorized users from switching off your phone even if they have physical access to it. Now let's talk about this brand new essential button that hasn't existed on previous nothing phones. It is located just below the power button and it's like a dedicated hardware key which launches nothing's AI powered essential space allowing users to capture and store screenshots with voice notes. It also uses AI to summarize your screenshots in a much more efficient way. If you single press the essential key, it captures your current screen. When you long press, it starts recording your voice which will be transcribed and saved directly inside the essential space. If you double press the button, it takes you right inside the nothing space where you can view and manage your captured content. This is like a hub for all the upcoming AI features in nothing OS and I think they will add more and more AI features with the upcoming updates. Moving on to the home screen, so this is usually how the home screen looks on nothing OS where we have got so many widgets along with these beautiful monochrome themed icons that I think go really well with the nothing design language and if I apply the dark theme on my phone, it automatically changes the color of all the icons. Now let me show you how to change and customize your app icons. All you have to do is simply press and hold on the home screen, tap on customization, select icon pack and here we can choose between the default icons and we also get this nothing icon pack that comes pre-installed on this phone. Apart from this, here you can also apply any third party icon pack which you have downloaded from the play store and the pack that I'm currently using is called nothing material adaptive. These icons changes the color automatically depending on your current wallpaper and I think it looks great on my home screen setup. Now talking about widgets, if you want to apply any widget onto your home screen, just long press and select widgets. You get a bunch of nothing widgets that looks really really cool and it also lets you add quick settings widgets directly on your home screen for easier access. 
you can choose from any of these options we have wi-fi and bluetooth torch dark mode dnd auto rotate and you can also add a widget to turn off the glyph lights so basically you have the option to add any of the quick setting style as a widget on your home screen and what's more interesting here is that you can add this recording widget to quickly record your phone calls without any announcement and there is also this camera widget which lets you quickly access different camera modes and presets directly from your home screen since you are talking about widgets let me show you how to unlock some more exclusive nothing inspired widgets to further customize and take your home screen to the next level you simply need to install this pack called new thing widgets pro and this will basically add a lot more cool looking widgets that perfectly matches nothing design language with this you can also apply those beautiful lock screen widgets onto your home screen now simply go to the widget section swipe right and here look for new thing widgets pro this way you get access to all new nothing inspired widgets that we just downloaded from the play store simply drag and drop and it gets applied to the home screen did you know you also get the option to customize your app folders you just need to long press and tap on customize here you can change the shape of your app folders there is this grid style you can make it more rounded but what i really liked is this cover style that lets you choose from these icons as a cover for your folders let's say you have a folder with full of games then you can use this joystick icon as a cover and this looks super cool on your home screen another cool customization feature that i really liked is the ai wallpaper generator which lets you create your own wallpapers with the help of ai simply long press on the home screen go to customization click on wallpapers here we have this new option called wallpaper studio all you have to do is just tap on this create button and here you can create your own wallpapers with the help of ai just select a theme depending on your mood and then tap on create wallpaper now the ai will provide you with some stunning looking wallpapers to customize your home screen and you get the option to download or set it directly on your phone i think it's an amazing feature especially if you love customization and you like changing your phone's wallpaper on a regular basis now you don't have to search wallpapers online you can generate your own wallpapers in just a few clicks talking about wallpapers you also get some exclusive nothing wallpapers on this phone and i think all of these look really really good and when you select any wallpaper here you can actually apply two different effects we have this atmosphere and the glass effect i personally like to use this glass effect a lot on my wallpapers i think it makes the icons and the widgets pop on your home screen if you swipe up you get the app drawer and this is the classic android style which you get on most android phones but nothing has introduced a new style which you can enable by simply clicking on this three dots button and here select the smart app drawer style now this completely transforms the app drawer as you can see we've got all the apps neatly organized in different folders and i think it can be a lot easier to navigate especially when you have loads of applications installed on your phone next let's talk about the quick settings panel which recently got revamped with nothing os 3 and you get two pages here in order to customize this control center you simply need to tap on this pencil icon now you can remove any of these toggles by clicking on this minus sign and if you want to add some more extra tiles just drag and drop like this but what's more interesting here is you can also change the shape and expand the size of these toggles as per your need i also like the volume slider by using which you can easily change the ringer mode from silent vibration and ringing moving on let's talk about one of the most unique feature of this phone and that is the glyph interface with phone 3a they have added some useful features to this glyph light first of all there is this feature called essential notifications with this you can set certain app notifications as essential and when an alert comes from that specific app the led light on the right side turns on and stays that way now the only way to turn off the light is to read or dismiss that notification to set it up just go to settings select glyph interface and then select notifications here click on add new essentials and select the apps for which you want to receive essential notifications you can also see the volume level when your phone is logged so if you increase or decrease the volume it shows on the back this comes really handy when you are listening to your favorite songs apart from this you also get a progress bar in the glyph leds and this works on third party apps like uber or zomato let's say when you have booked a cab in uber this led will show the driver progress to your location and you don't even have to open that multiple times to check the status there is also a glyph timer which shows a visual countdown through this led light let's say if you want to set a timer on your phone you can place your phone like this and it shows a visual countdown that looks really really cool 
we have the glyph ringtone composer which lets you create your own ringtones to get this feature you need to download the composer app from the play store which is completely free if you are playing music on your phone or while watching videos on youtube then you can enable the music visualizer on your phone right now i'm playing a song on youtube music and here you can see how the glyph light works as a music visualizer this works extremely well and now when you play any music on your phone you get this cool visualizer on the back Then we also get the circle to search feature where you just need to long press on the navigation bar and now you can circle scribble or tap anywhere on the screen to search anything on Google as you can see when i circle on a specific part it instantly gives me the google search results based on what i just circled it's a very useful feature that we usually see on flagship devices moving on let me show you some useful gestures that we get on this device when you are in the recent tabs menu instead of swiping all the way looking for the clear all button You can simply long press on any application and then swipe up to clear all apps at once. No more scrolling all the way left to reach for the clear all button. Next, you can also enable the three finger screenshot gesture by going into the special features. Select gestures and then go into screenshot gesture. Here simply enable the three finger swipe. Now whenever you want to take a screenshot, swipe down with your three fingers like this. Then go into the pop up view and turn on the expand notification toggle. Once done, Now you can just swipe down on any incoming notification to open that directly in a pop-up window. Phone 3A has a stunning 120 Hz refresh rate and even though it is enabled by default, when you open certain apps, the refresh rate goes down to 60 Hz and it doesn't feel smooth. To fix this, just head over to your phone settings, select display, scroll down and click on this option that says display refresh rate. By default it is set to dynamic simply change that to high and now the refresh rate gets logged at 120 hertz it does consumes a bit more battery but trust me you'll get much smoother experience there is also a native app lock feature available on this phone just go to your phone settings select apps and here you get this option called app locker simply enter your device pin and now you can easily select all the apps for which you want to activate this feature You can also choose when to lock your apps. Either you can set it when the screen is locked or when you close that specific application. Once done, now when you try to open that application, it's going to ask you to scan your fingerprint. So you don't have to install any third-party locker from the Play Store. Similarly, there is also clone app feature available inside these settings. So now you can run multiple instances of the same app and this is really useful. Next, let me show you one interesting camera feature that nothing has added to the phone 3A devices. When you are inside the camera, just tap on this arrow which is located right at the bottom. Now you get different presets to click some stunning pictures on your phone. We have got portrait, black and white films, wide angle and lenticular. What's more interesting here is you can import more LUTs from your friends or create your own as well. This is something which they have newly added to the phone 3A series. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips and tricks for the Nothing Phone 3A and 3A Pro. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.